there, this is Cindy at cindybdesigns.com. Welcome to this week's midweek inspiration for the papercraftcrew.com. This week's challenge is going to be two weeks. I am breaking out the Country Living, Country Living Stamping Set by Stampin' Up, Watercolor Paper, Aqua Painter. I've, and this is when I decided to make the video. I've already gone ahead and put down a super light coat of Sahara sand with my aqua painter as you can see down there at the bottom I went with my shadow so I'm gonna be cleaning off my brush zooming in now and I do have this sped up now we're gonna bring in crumb cake and I'm going to go ahead and bring in my little laminated mat as well and you'll see that in a minute I don't like it when you squish your pads to get that pool of ink in the lid I'm neurotic about that it, it bothers me it's messy so I laminated a piece of 120 pound cardstock and when I want to do some water coloring I just grab whatever I want to use stamp it out on a clear block or use my sheet there. You see the Stampin' Dimensionals? I didn't have to use them. I thought I had to for another project, but you know what? They're fine just there, so I threw them on back. Now we're going to drag in the crumb cake and we are going to start doing some accenting and starting to color up those boots a little bit. I'm going to leave in where this almost went into the trash. My head is going to come in and come out. I apologize, but you know what? At least I have a good job, dye job. So, you know, this bump. So I'm just adding my accents from the crumb cake, getting those outlines and everything, the different illustrations that the artist drew in, and I'm building up my image. The Stamping Up classic inks are, I'm not going to compare them to Distress Inks, but they are very usable with water coloring and building color on top of it. Ink blending, can it be done? Yes, it can. I just prefer the Stamping Up inks for more so water coloring right now. I've never really gotten into blending too much with it. I mean, I have, but I haven't, but that's for another time. So I let everything dry nine times out of 10 on its own. When you heat set it, some things you have to heat set, this you don't. It has a tendency to kill the color just a little bit. So I'm moving a little bit slow here kind of thinking about what I'm doing. I'm going to stop right now and I think I'm going to speed this up a little bit to three because you just see me do the same thing over and over again basically. Um, this is when the Sahara sands too light. I'm doing more shading. I didn't like the way it turned out. So I, so I think I'm going to pick this up quite a bit and turn a little bit of music on for you and you can watch me color. That is chocolate chip. I do know that I show you the color that I'm going to use before I pick it up. When I start hitting that pretty fatal mistake, you're going to see a hot mess and you will see what I did. That's when I'm going to slow it back down, come back and talk to you about how I got my way out of this.
hard way over on the right boot. That soft suede and chocolate chip do not mix together very well at all. I'm watering it down, clean, trying to clean it up. I think I'll take a break for a second. Debating. Still debating. Spray out my brush. Trying to water it down. And it just keeps getting uglier. And I'm going to take my mind off of it. Go back over to the right. And by now I'm getting frustrated. Square the aqua painter out again. I think I'm about to make more of a mess. No, save your hair. Cajun craze. Beautiful. That is what those boots needed. It threw in that really masculine, rough leather look. And that color right there made the boots Color covered up a mess, and then I turned around and dropped some old olive in on top of it. So you'll see that shortly. We're gonna go back to the music. You can go back to watching me color and enjoy. Okay, there we go. And that is our color using the Country Living stamp set. And I think it turned out pretty cool. 
Hey, I did drop some old olive in there too. You didn't see it, but you didn't see me drop it in, but you saw the color. But this is great. I mean, I had this video up. It was 40 minutes. I want to do this some more. So I hope that you enjoy the process of this. And um, thank you for stopping by to visit us today at thepapercraftcrew.com. And I am Cindy at cindybdesigns.com. Our challenge is going to go on for an extra week. Pam drove literally 10,000 miles around the country and immediately got home and decided to have an emergency appendectomy. So we're going to let her recover a little bit. And I know that you young moms have kids going back to school and all that stuff. So we're going to go ahead and do this back to school theme for another week. And thank you so much for joining us today. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, all that good stuff, social media. God bless. We'll see you again the next time around. Bye.